So um, for my background, I've spent a lot of years working in dung beetles and here and in, in Africa. And um, I think I first realised the potential of dung beetles in New Zealand back in 1992 uh, when I was a, um, a technician working for, back then it was the end of the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. Um, it's, a long, it's a long time. Yeah, it's a long time ago. And, um, and I did my masters on, on the, the dung beetles that we already do have here in New Zealand, um, of which we have a few. Um, and, it, and I guess it was at that point in seeing how not so much useless they are, but how poor they were at contributing to actual wholesale reduction of the manure that we have on our paddocks. And um, I thought upon it myself that it, we, we kind of need to get something going here for New Zealand and basically a recycling process of, of what animals produce, which is manure and lots of it. Um, and bury it naturally through a standard cycle which exists in the countries where the beetles plus the livestock originated from. And as soon as you bring livestock, and well, it includes horses, of course, and, uh, and, and cows and alpacas and everything else, into a country which doesn't have its own consignment of beetles or beetles that accompany these sorts of things, then you get a, a major problem, which most of you are probably aware in, in the media, um, all attributes to intensified farming or things from that going into water quality issues, etc., etc. And it's all because there's nothing actually getting rid of the manure that's sitting on the pasture surfaces. Now, if we had beetles here, like Andrew points to 150, 170 years ago when we brought the first livestock in, largely from Australia, then we probably wouldn't be having to play a massive catch-up game like we are now. So the whole process is trying to, trying to um, complete a broken circle in the recycling process of manure that's generated from animals.